young talent and you all you need is a little bit of support to mold them into an outstanding you know flex support player very well known for his Ana, although his Zenyatta also certainly worth mention here we're back in game on night market so no surprises gonna be that mirror goats composition zarya's reinhardt's and <laughs> just <laughs> that was awesome. fire strike man. every game should start like that atlanta academy and second generation are gonna be meeting each other for the first time here on lee jong tower let's see who's gonna be able to win control atlanta academy this is where they kept it closest against sky foxes last week let's see if they're gonna be able to put on a good performance against second generation second generation looking to prove themselves right now socks being at 10 percent that's almost all passive on that ultimate charge so that's a little interesting there because look at sugar free at 66 it's uh it's very interesting why Sox is uh, so low with oh. that ult charge. Close, Boop, and yes, it, Ajax will pick up Chrono Dota. Atlanta Academy are set to take this point unless something catastrophic happens. Almost nothing you could do without your main tank, and that is that is the danger of seeding some space right there. ATL played a really patient game, and you're right. Sugar Free will have the rally, and Sox still just at 50%, so he hasn't been engaged in this fight as much as his counterpart. And when you're running those mirror comps, you need everybody to be functioning at their max. Exactly. Second generation also don't have any ultimates while Atlanta Academy do, and that's why you're going to see them take that space away from second generation. Atlanta Academy using the rally, and that's it so far, pushing second generation further and further away from the objective. Gator has made the call to say, "Hey, let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the point. Let's take it from there." Atlanta Academy with those ultimates could definitely win this defense and look at where Perfect is. He's being sneaky. They didn't check their corners. Perfect is going to throw the Graviton Surge. They're going to get two kills. Second generation, check your corners. Yeah, the grab is coming from inside the house, man. You, you walked right into it. Gator dropped the Shatter in that last engagement, but it doesn't really matter here. That's two cleanly won fights for the defenders, and now they're over 50%. Second gen, got to get the ball rolling here, but they know they can probably walk out of this hallway without eating an ult. Shadows with his own grab at the ready. He'd like to build up a little bit more charge though before he drops it. ATL giving them a little bit of space. Let's see how much space they're gonna be willing to give them though. They've been controlling this space very, very well so far. Atlanta Academy in complete control, but for how long? Second generation are gonna have five ultimates. I don't believe Sox has gotten to a rally yet. So Sox has 93%. He will be getting theirs. They're gonna be throwing all of their ultimates into this fight because they have to. Atlanta Academy have exceeded that 80% one fight win potential. So second generation have to win this out. Earthshatter not gonna be getting much, but Chrono Dota is gonna get a little bit more with Sugar Free going back to spawn. Atlanta Academy are totally cool with losing out this fight and Perfect and Ajax will be holding on to their ultimates for the next one. Mm -hmm. They have a win condition for this next fight, whereas second gen need to, you know, start putting their hands together for RNG Jesus, find some kind of great early pick, because uh, they have no ultimates to really rely on if they start falling on that back foot. So this next engagement is crucial for second generation who have to win every subsequent fight against ATL who are holding on to that bigger bang. That is a tough hill to climb. Is it going to be more like a Sisyphus hill, or is it going to be the golden, you know, in the golden view at the top the of the goat. climb? There, there it is. Atlanta Academy is going to use their ultimates again. They can just use them all right now because they are going to win this round because of it. Second generation falling down at the very end here. Atlanta Academy going up 1-0 here on the Leash Off. Making it look so easy, right? ATL love that they're back in form here, even with Saucy on the Zenyatta. Perfect, working really well with his team too. So? It's amazing what one week could do. Exactly, exactly. And learning from, you know, the mistakes of the previous week, Atlanta certainly looking very good right now. However, we do have to remember that control favors that scrappy battle. Exactly. So second generation going to be looking for a bigger performance from their Brig. That's actually something that you don't say very often, mm -hmm. right? Because Brig is kind of just like the standard, most consistent part of exactly. Overwatch w right now. Right? <laughs> right? Not just Goats, but just Overwatch. She changed the game when she came in. But second generation, Sox not really doing a ton. If you don't have that rally, they don't have that damage mitigation. Mm -hmm. It means that you're not doing quite as much Inspire healing either. So now as we come into Control Center, we're not actually going to see Maze from either team. So it's a very popular hero here. It's going to be that good old mirror face off around that corner, trying to save your shield while debating the other Ryan into wasting his. As Bitbop goes for the boop. Oh, doesn't get stunned out, so escapes with his mech. 
Uh, got some ult charge there for himself. He's going to get stunned right now. Ajax, though, going to get the first blood for Atlanta Academy. This is looking just like the last round did. Atlanta in control. Waiting very patiently, ATL, is not just about forcing a fight to happen, but trying to set yourself up for the best possible fight. So looking, waiting to see who is going to be low health, who you can burst down very quickly is the name of the Atlanta's game right now. Second generation need to find any sort of game for themselves to come right back into this because they're playing Atlanta's game, and we've talked about this a lot. If that's going to make them comfortable, it's Atlanta's game, and that means they're controlling second generation and how they approach these points as the Earthshatter going to be oh, coming in. It's going to wow. be a huge one. Second generation going right back to spawn. Earthshatter's all you need. Did you see that swoop de doop from Hawk dive bomb and pushing Chrono Dota out of place. It was a free shatter for Gator. And this is a guy who, you know, if he's not going to get a free shatter, he's going to make a free shatter for himself, right? So mm -hmm. just everything working so well for Atlanta Academy right now. And if they choose, they can continue to tr hold second gen at this choke. Perfect has the grab, but no, they're going to go for the safer fight on the objective itself. They know that they're very close to cinching this up. If second gen don't take this next fight in decisive fashion, they find themselves back in night market. Oh, very interesting placement from Perfect on the pillar, and it's gonna do some good work. Is Hawk gonna get two kills on that self-destruct? Just warning you guys at home to cover your ears once he gets three. Some shenanigans will be happening from our mouths. Second generation, though, <laughs> They have not gotten anything going on this map so far. Yeah, it's they've been stalled in like second gear this whole time. They have good fights, but then they the next fight has it doesn't have any ultimates, right? They, they haven't have had a good ultimates fight this round. They don't have a good engagement, and they're looking down the barrel of a potential hundred percent to zero loss right now. They got to make something happen with Chrono Dota's shatter or Shadow's grab coming up. Otherwise, ATL will take this first win. No one on second generation can die first in this fight. They need to maintain that numbers advantage as a very fancy Earth Shatter. Not going to really find that much. Gator going to get shield bash. Perfect going to be the only one from that Earth Shatter. Self-destruct now in the air from second generation. Shadows was able to throw that grab out. We do get that bigger bang combo. Gator unable to use that shield. Two kills for that self-destruct, but second generation are able to take the point. Atlanta Academy do need to wait a little longer before they can come back, but Sugar Free going to take that kill onto Sox, but trades are coming in. I'm interested to see how Atlanta Academy are going to take this, especially now that the sound barrier is gone. Yeah, I'm interested to know why uh, Felty dropped that sound barrier. Perhaps he was expecting a faster engage from ATL, which is happening now instead. Clips, though, does have that trance at the ready. Time to kill has been an issue for second gen. They could have cleaned that up much better. Chrono Dota going to be using the Earth Shatter, going to be, you know, knocking a couple people on the ground. Shadow's going to get two kills, and they're very important. There's the two supports for a second generation, and finally they got something going. It's amazing to see how these teams, once they do find themselves on the point, so much easier for them to start playing. <laughs> oh, undoubtedly, you have that advantage. You can see when the enemy team will engage rather than being forced to make that decision yourself is one of the hardest things just to choose to press that trigger, right? You don't want to be the tank that threw an ultimate into the void. So now ATL need to make their way out of this choke. Second Gen's going to give it to them. Sox now does have the rally. Doesn't pop it just yet. Atlanta didn't have anything for that last fight, and they have a ton right now. This is the fight that they want to win. A second generation definitely behind on that ultimate economy. The Graviton Surge is going to be coming from Perfect. Earthshatter going to be nothing. Bip Bop and Eclipse onto the ground. Sugar Free with that first blood. You know how bad it is when Zarya goes down in Goats. That's a 7% win percentage. And Atlanta Academy are 100% going to win this round and go up 2 0 against second generation. They had a nice little 73% of good stuff going from them, but that was it. I think. Second gen, although they are the you know, next iteration of first gen who did very well uh, last season being an unsigned team, you know, this is a new roster. There's also going to be, they're also going to be working through some of the same things that ATL is doing mm -hmm. in terms of communication. You know, hey, if we find ourselves in this scenario, what do you want to do? Are we going to throw the barrier into it? Felt he went for it, right? But that meant that he wasn't going to have it for the next fight. And ATL were, will have a better engagement once they bank up their own. So just kind of those small moments, time to kill as well. Focus fire not 100% there for second gen, especially in comparison to the way that ATL was melting through some of those players. So, you know, just things to carry into hybrid. It almost felt like second gen were playing like they thought they were the worst team for, <laughs> for a period of time. And, you know, while, you know, there's some giggles, that's a real thing, it right? If, I, if I'm going to enter a chess tournament, right, and I'm like, 
I'm not that good at chess, right? <laughs> then I'm not going to do that well, even if I might be amazing. I know a lot of people who are amazing at what they do who think mm -hmm. they suck, right? And so... Uh, Imposter syndrome is real, man. Yeah, exactly. And so, like, I think, like, them coming into here maybe with a little bit of that attitude is affecting them right now. You, you know, the mental state is something that we can only theory craft. But yeah. in terms of how that looked, it seemed like second generation were on the back foot outside of that 73%. And even parts of that, they definitely were kind of playing catch up that whole time. I would say so, especially, I mean, if, if we want to look at, you know, something that we can analyze, statistically speaking, every fight that they went into, they didn't have as many alts, right? And that's always going to, you know, put you in that mindset of we only have one sound barrier, right? Like, oh, what are we going to do? What about the next fight? Uh, rather than focusing on just, you know, winning the game that's right in front of you. So hopefully second gen can work through some of those issues. We would like to see them win fights without investing all three of their tank ultimates, right? Which we saw them do many times so uh that's just stuff to keep in mind yep. for hybrid they'll be uh defending first i believe so hybrid is one of those map types that gives the defenders quite an advantage all right ham you got some props earlier for saying this correctly let's get it what's <laughs> our next map eichenwald there it is i i can't actually get all of the credit i believe it was actually uber and jcap way back in the day when they were casting in their apartment in germany who who kind of oh. set the record straight first i know i know I love those days. I love I I love those too. They're Defender such great season casters. zero was a was a fun time for mm -hmm. sure. But now we're in season two thousand nineteen. <laughs> season season two thousand nineteen. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. it's a fourth season, I think total. Anyway, enough about numbers. I am a numbers guy. Eichenwald mm -hmm. has some really interesting strats here on point A. Farah has been said that weird. Farah is <laughs> has been really really great on this map for almost the entirety of its existence. Sombra can be very good mm -hmm. on this map as well. Uh, and the A team, uh, the attacking team, can be playing quad DPS if they choose, but both of these sides seem to be favoring uh, Goats, even when they do have a little bit of an option when it comes to team comp. Yeah, it, Goats provides still just so much consistency. You got a new player, you're trying to come in, just play just Goats. Just play Goats, yeah. exactly. Uh, don't know how to work a mechanical thermometer? Just go Goats. <laughs> It's the answer to everything, Boop. Don't know how to use an ice machine? Just go goats. Go back to school. Second <laughs> generation now. Going to be starting on the attack. Atlanta Academy on that. Ryan Hart goats. Same thing on the other side. So this is all about that communication and cool down management. I think if you were a good summary on goats, it really can be cool down management. Oh, Whoa! look at this. Gator trying to assert his dominance a little bit. Almost went too far for the particle barrier. Does get out with his life. But, you know, I like his moxie. I like his okay. spot right there. Gator showing exactly why he gave himself that name. And so Atlanta Academy have to be pushed right back onto the objective. Chrono Dota going to have to be uh, imbued with the armor pack. So that's not going to be available for anyone else. Is Perfect going to get him down? So the healing wasn't there. They had already used it. Chrono Dota gets focused down. And now Atlanta Academy are going to hold up on this defense. Mm -hmm. Great first pick. You can't push forward without your main tank, Gator. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Trying to snap his jaws closed on one of the it's members like, of It's like one of those Gen. roller coasters that like starts right away. Yeah, you know, yeah exactly. Like there's no... The there's no there's no ramp up into the action with Gator on your team. So second gen, they're going to have to take another go at it. But fairly even in terms of ultimates, actually, both of the Zens neck and neck in terms of that trance. So it still could be anyone's game. Perfect sitting at just above 50 energy. Would really like to get that a little higher because he will be the primary damage dealer. Now, though, he will have the grab and shadows still 30% away. So I'm going to be really interested to see when this grab comes out because are you going to wait for the damage? Because you're going to want to follow up your grab with that damage. <laughs> is this like... It, is <laughs> Do we need to call, like, the World Health Organization or something with these Graviton Surges, particularly on the green side? Atlanta Academy going to throw out that self-destruct along with that transcend. It's not going to get Chrono Dota, so this is another good defense for Atlanta Academy. Right after Chrono Dota goes down, Sox used that rally. Going to want that for the next fight. Think about how much stronger they'd be if they weren't coming into this next fight even pretty much with Atlanta Academy. They had one extra. Indeed, you could argue that they were going for trades because trades will always favor the attackers this time around. But uh, when you already have Bip Bop Demect, you're already playing with such a short hand. Not a great investment right there from Sox. So second gen, they still have a shot, a little less than two minutes. But ATL now, they're going to start feeling very confident. Sugar Free close to his rally. 
they have every advantage in the book in terms of this positioning. So second gen need to go for some kind of explosive opening. Grab into bomb combo, oh. always an option. No longer those shadows. You don't see that very often, like long range picks like that coming from the goats. You see yeah. it with, you know, an exposed sniper, if they're going, if you're a Bronco Sky or something, but a long range grenade ended up killing the second generation Should shadow. Should not have happened. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a positional issue right there because you had berries, you had matrix available for yourself. However, that means that second gen will have four ultimates for this next brawl. ATL coming into their own. Shatter actually finds one. And it finds Eclipse, so, you know, a little bit of a delay on that transcendent. Shadow's gonna be throwing out that Graviton Surge. We're seeing self destructs coming out as well. Our Shatter is next. Hawk is on the ground, but Atlanta Academy, in the midst of all of those ultimates and particle effects, do come out on top. Focus Fire, I would say, might be an issue for second gen again here on Eichenwald. Sock's now gonna have his rally, but we would like to see a little bit more production from this Brigida. We haven't seen many setups, right? When Bitbop threw that self-destruct, didn't get anything, not a great positioning, but it's not just on your D.Va player. Second gen coming into it with just two ultimates, the trance and the rally. You don't want to use them when you don't have to, but ATL might force their hand. Sock's gonna go ahead and use the rally. The first one that's gonna be effective for these fights, self-destruct is out, doesn't find anything. Hawk is taken down, good stud coming from second generation there. Sox finally, you know, adding a little bit of value to these team fights outside of just being there. And <laughs> Academy still coming back on this defense. Wrecking Ball could come back in no time. Let's see if they're going to be able to get this uh, DMAC onto Bitbop, and the answer is no. Chronodote is actually pretty low as well. Holy Earthshatter is going to grab a ton of second generation. They're not going to get a second chance at this point. Atlanta Academy off the back of Gators. Earthshatter, we're getting some trill dives here for Atlanta Academy on this Reinhardt. Really easy round one for Atlanta Academy. Good shatter coming from Gator. If you wait long enough, it's like Buds on Sombra. If you wait long enough with this Gator guy, he will have shatter and he wants to, he will use it. Uh, I mean, Gator, he was on the original GOATS team, the innovator of our favorite composition these days. So it's to be expected that he knows how to play around what second gen was throwing at him. And once again, focus fire for second gen. They had an advantage. I think it was like a 4v3 something. You know, it wasn't a lost point for them, but they weren't able to confirm any of the kills. They couldn't hunt down any member of Atlanta Academy. You stay healthy long enough, and like you said, this Hammond might be able to touch back in, or Gator will just get a shatter and <laughs> lay your team down on their backs when they least expect it. Good stuff, good heads up play from Gator, and that's why you go for those shatters, right? These Reinhardts are so good at charging up that shatter. At that point in time, if you think the flick is gonna happen, that shield goes down, or you think you can get a nice curve, <laughs> sometimes it feels like the Earth Shatter's curved, right? <laughs> like, like, what was that movie where- Wanted. Wanted, where James McAvoy curves a bullet around Do you like how all Angelina I needed was, Jolie. what was that movie? Proud of myself. <laughs> I am like a world champion taboo player. Uh, you are picking up what I am putting yeah, down, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah, that's a lie, by the way. World champion involving just my house. Um, Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> but I am good at the game. Atlanta Academy uh, coming in with their Reinhardt Goat, second generation doing the same hand. Yes, so now second gen, this is going to be a difficult hold for them, no doubt. They weren't really able to show much uh, new compared to their lead down play, and Atlanta Academy going to be looking to take advantage of those weaknesses. Have to be sure to keep your Reinhardt up and alive, although Bitbop equally squishy. Second gen, you know, again, like Team Envy, they have to take their own destiny into their hands, force ATL back, or this offense is just going to walk all over them. Let's see which side of the equation second generation will Ooh, fall shadows. on. Shadow's getting taken low already. Chrono Dota is stunned, but the particle barrier is also there. But that means it's not going to be for another re-engage if Atlanta Academy so choose to do so. And they're looking pretty healthy, but so is second generation right now. Chrono Dota going to receive the armor pack from Sox, who is once again very low on that old oh. charge. So Atlanta Academy pushing second generation off. The Earth Shatter goes through the shadows. Bitbop and Eclipse all on the ground. The first pick is onto Bitbop. That d -Mech is amazing for Atlanta's hopes here. They're going to get very, very close to taking this if they're able to grab a couple more picks from second generation. Sox needs to get pretty close to this rally if they have any chance, but he's going to get really close to dying, and then close enough to die completely. Atlanta Academy using that rally that second generation no longer have, helping them get this first uh, point in the first try. Ham, you didn't get to say anything during that first attack. What? Yes. <laughs> I mean, it was almost like Chrono Dota. He barely got to shatter when Gator got two in one fight. So that just, like, 
900 IQ rotation right there from Atlanta Academy, you know, put pressuring second gen so hard. Chrono Dota, I mean, he had to escape. He was like, I don't know, 40 HP, had to duck behind that pillar, but that leaves his whole back line open. And those are some of those decisions that, you know, sometimes you feel like you're making, but it's actually the hands of so your opponents pulling the strings, <laughs> right? So Atlanta did not look this good last week. And I know we keep hearkening back to that because, our def you know, our runner-up lost in their first week. T Sky Foxes were able to take them down. Mm -hmm. Now that we're here in this game, we're not seeing any sort of that kind of struggle. But what second generation doesn't have is a Sombra. So yes. in your opinion, now we're going back to that subject now. I'm asking it to you. Atlanta struggling that first week. Was the Sombra really a big part of that? Or are we just another week in with playing together, good coaching staff, good support in general? And this is just what that looks like. Yeah, they picked up Ilka. Always going to be... Uh, but I, I think it's a little of column A, a little bit of column B, right? There are certainly first week jitters, undoubtedly. Saucy's such a great player. I mean, he was part of that original Atlanta team that wowed you know, NA contenders. So you know he has it in him, but when he's push, pushed onto that flex support role, that is going to be a little less agency. And he was the first one to die to Bud Sombra. They might not have expected it. Sombra is one of those heroes that we threw out all the way back when Ghost was first gaining steam. Well, why don't you just play Sombra, forehead? Uh, and, and now she's come into her own, and some teams, like Sky Foxes, are able to get so much value from those hacks. So I think Atlanta has made some great adjustments, and second gen, Maybe it's time to dig a little bit deeper. It's obvious that goats to goats, they are having a hard time winning. Might as well try the Sombra Gambit. Mm -hmm. Losing like that, too, uh, it can be hard uh, mm -hmm. going into the rest mm -hmm. of the series. But at least we have halftime. Anything can happen. You know, we've seen teams completely turn it around after the six-minute break. Let's see if second generation is going to be one of those teams as Atlanta leads them 2-0 going into halftime. We'll see you all in six.